Hey, I'm Mark, and today we're going to be doing a neat trick. It's capturing a nail inside a board. You've probably seen these <clears throat> before, doctor's offices or so. And there's a nail that's trapped in the board. It slides back and forth. And you can't figure out how on earth did the guy do it. Well, I'm going to show you the trick. We're going to be using hot water and a vise. We're going to heat the wood up on this one side here and squeeze it once it's good and soft we'll squeeze it down because when you heat up material it gets soft and then we're able to drill the hole in it and uh then we'll put it back into the boiling water and it comes back to its shape and it's just a neat trick we're going to start with a two by four blank and i've got it laid out where i'm going to leave seven eighths of an inch remove seven eighths leave seven eighths remove seven eighths the board's about six and a quarter inches long. Well, let's get this to the bandsaw and cut out and then we'll get it sanded and put it in the boiling water. All right, now that we got it cut out, I went about an inch and a quarter deep into it. I'm gonna take a chisel and I have the flat side towards me, put it on the line and We'll just pop that little piece out. All right, next we'll put the one end in the boiling water. We'll let that boil for about 15 minutes and put it in the vise. Well, it's been 15 minutes. We'll take it out and put it in the vise. And if the grain was straighter on this, it would do better, but this was just some scrap lumber I had. It kind of drifts off to the side. But if you're doing this for a science project, you can say how when you heat up materials that makes it more pliable and you can make it shape into different things. I also build chairs and have to bend wood with steam. Oh. Get it good and compress down. And then we'll take a extra long drill bit and drill through. And uh, we'll give it about two hours to cool down. Well, it's been a couple hours. Let's see if it's firmed up enough to stay. And it has. I will quickly get it drilled out and put it back on the heat. I'm using a little bigger than normal drill bit, but it's all I have that's long enough. If you use too short of a drill bit, the chuck ends up hitting the wood and you can't get the same effect. So we'll slip the nail in. You could use a screw or bolt or anything. You could have it a whole lot tighter too. I kind of like to leave it loose and use a, a nail that has a flat side on it because people think that that's, that's the way that you got it in there. Well, let's get it back in the boiling water. All right, let's stick it back in that boiling water. Give it about 15 minutes and it just comes back to shape. Well, it's been 15 minutes, and you can see it comes back almost perfect. And because the grains were at an angle, it kind of got a bend in it. So I'm going to put it in my vise and bring it back perfect. I'm just going to stick it in my wooden vise and let it clamp it down and let it cool off, and it'll turn out perfect. Well, right, we've let it cool off. Take it out of the vise. And you can see it is perfect. I'll let it dry out for a couple of days and give it a good sanding and write a logo on the side of it and I'll leave it in a doctor's office or something. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks.